Thank you, Mr. President. I want to thank uh, my esteemed colleague from, the, from Wyoming, uh, Senator Barrasso, and his comments. And he shares uh, many of the same views I have. Um, and as I think about the job that I do as a United States Senator, perhaps one of the most important jobs we have as a Senator is approving a Supreme Court justice. Uh, an associate justice of the Supreme Court can serve an average of 27 years. We think about Justice Scalia, he served 30 years. Uh, Neil Gorsuch is 49 years old. Uh, God willing, he probably will serve 30 years or more, perhaps. But think about that. Uh, my wife and I have four children. They're going through their college years and so forth. They're in their early, mid-20s. They'll likely be grandparents. When uh, Judge Gorsuch wraps up his uh, career on the United States Supreme Court, uh, assuming he's approved. So that's why a decision like this about who to vote for, who to stand behind, who to stand with us is so important. It's just not for today. This is for our children and our grandchildren. And the people want a Supreme Court justice who does not legislate from the bench. The people want a Supreme Court justice who upholds the rule of law and follows the Constitution. The people want a Supreme Court justice with a record of constitutional jurisprudence and legal restraint to match what we saw from Justice Antonin Scalia. The people want a Supreme Court justice with the academic credentials who's well prepared to serve the American people in our highest court, to wrestle with some of the most complicated issues that the high court wrestles with. When President Trump announced that he was appointing Judge Neil Gorsuch to the United States Supreme Court, the American people knew he was truly a supreme pick. He has a brilliant legal mind. He understands the role a judge plays in our judicial system to interpret the law and not to legislate from the bench. In fact, on the night he was announced when President Trump revealed his pick, I was at the White House and I heard him say, Judge Gorsuch, and I quote, a judge who likes every outcome he reaches is very likely a bad judge, stretching for results he prefers rather than those the law demands. That's the humility of a great judge. Judge Gorsuch has impeccable legal qualifications that demonstrate he will be the type of justice that every American deserves to be on the highest court. He graduated from Harvard Law School. He was a Harry Truman Scholar, graduated with honors in 1991. He earned his law degree, attended then Oxford University as a Marshall Scholar, and received his doctorate degree in 2004 from Oxford. And as we say out west, and as a Montanan, I gotta say I'm thrilled to see uh, somebody from Colorado uh, be nominated for the Supreme Court. We say out west, go get a good education and then get over it. And he brings that kind of humility to the bench. He understands that he is, he is beneath the law. He's subject to the law. He's there to interpret the law, not to make the law. He's clerked for Justice Byron White. He's clerked for Justice Kennedy of the Supreme Court of the United States. In fact, in 2006, Judge Gorsuch was nominated by then President Bush to the 10th Circuit in Denver, Colorado. He was confirmed without any opposition, including the support of 11 current Democratic United States Senators. In fact, some of those Democrats included Harvard Law classmate Barack Obama, Vice President Joe Biden, and the current minority leader, Chuck Schumer. During his time as a judge on the 10th Circuit, he has built a solid reputation as a respected jurist with a very distinguished record. One thing about serving on the 10th Circuit Court for 10 years, you can run, but you can't hide. He has left a track record. It's an impressive track record. It's a consistent record of defending the Constitution, including respecting the separation of powers, respecting federalism, and the Bill of Rights to protect every American from government overreach and government abuse. When I had the opportunity to sit down with Judge Gorsuch, it was back in early February, we spoke about the role of government and federalism. We spoke about the Second Amendment. We spoke about protecting life and upholding our civil liberties. We spoke about our shared Western values. Mine is a native Montanan, his is a native Coloradoan. Both of us Westerners. I know he understands our way of life. He understands Montana values. In fact, his face lit up as we talked about the love of the outdoors and his passion for hiking and for fishing. And as chairman of the Western Caucus, it's important to me to have someone who understands Western values. Someone who understands the impact of the law 
and his decisions will have on the West. As Westerners, we fight to protect our Fourth Amendment rights. We champion federalism so that power not expressly given to the federal government in the Constitution is returned back to the states and to the people. We will tirelessly fight to protect the Second Amendment. These are Western values. And by the way, the Second Amendment, that's not primarily about hunting. Our founding fathers were not thinking about deer hunting or elk hunting when they were discussing the Second Amendment. It was about liberty. It was about freedom. These are Western values. And Judge Gorsuch's background and record strongly suggest that he recognizes and adheres to these values. He will uphold the law. He'll rightfully check the administration and Congress when their actions are not done under the law. Like President Obama's EPA power plan or the WOTUS rule. These are actions that cripple Western economies and they are politically charged. I'd also like to mention that Senator Cory Gardner of Colorado and I were just at the White House meeting just an hour ago. We were at the White House meeting with over a dozen tribes who represent hundreds, hundreds of other tribes. We were there to discuss our support for Neil Gorsuch for Supreme Court justice. I can tell you it was great to be there with my, one of my hometown tribes from Montana, the CSKT. They have endorsed Neil Gorsuch. They understand that we need a mainstream, common-sense Westerner on the Supreme Court. By the way, when you look at Neil Gorsuch's record on Indian country issues, as a member of the Tenth Circuit Court for 10 years, he has a track record of ruling on some very complicated issues that face Indian country. He understands sovereignty. That's very important. That's why you're seeing tribes endorsing Judge Gorsuch. More importantly, the American people deserve nine members on the Supreme Court. Neil Gorsuch is the mainstream judge the American people want and deserve to fill out the court. I'm looking forward to what will happen next week in those hearings. You're gonna see a very, very bright, a very, very thoughtful, a very, very kind, a very, very humble jurist who again understands and upholds the rule of law. I'm excited for our country that we have such a phenomenal nominee and I look forward to casting my vote to confirm him to the highest court in our great country.